This is where Zuckerberg stayed, maybe? Probably. When you think of Alaska, you don't really think of golf to begin with. Even though Alaska is this massive, massive state, it only has 22 courses, and I was able to take a peek at almost half of those. And I wanted to see what does golf look like in Alaska? What does the competitive golf scene look like? What do the players sound like? What are their games like? So I went all the way up to spend a week there and find out. My second day in Alaska started with a drive through downtown Homer, an old fishing village that has become this cool bohemian seaside summer town. The locals would probably tell you it's the coolest city in Alaska. They're waiting for the sunshine, you know? My hosts Scott and Isa, the owners of Homer Golf Course, had been invited by resident golf nut Chris Marin to check out his wife's family's wilderness lodge, a spectacular place across Kachemak Bay. Is the only way to get to this lodge, it was by boat at high tide. And this is all Kachemak Bay State Park. So Kachemak Bay State Park was the first state park created in Alaska about 30 years ago. My parents started the lodge 50 years ago. So in the late 60s, they bought the property and got it established. This is our driving range here. Yeah, the, the, the driving path right in the end of that zone. Uh, and then when I hit wedges, I get to this pipe. Yep. Right there. This lodge is essentially a low-frills retreat. This is somewhere you come to get away from the busyness of the world, and so it draws in adventure seekers, but also the rich and famous. Mark Zuckerberg spent a week here last year, and businessmen, politicians, this is where people come to get out in it, to experience authentic Alaska. While Chris isn't as involved in the day-to-day -day operations as Shannon, he knew how to show us around the place, where we could put our feet up, where we should go for a walk, before eventually making our way to check out his favorite spot on property, the driving range. At the right tide and the right time of day, and of course if Chris is there to make sure his turf mat is set up, Kachemak Bay driving range becomes Alaska's unofficial 23rd golf course. There's only two targets on the range, one green about 84 yards away, and then a distant driving wall, which sits about 290, 300. No one's ever bothered to measure it, of course. I got a decent chance at it, too. After a full morning exploring the Kachemak Bay Wilderness Lodge, we made our way around the shoreline to catch a water taxi, which I had never done, to catch a ride back to Homer. Man, I'm sad to leave Homer. Uh, this town is unbelievable. The scenery is ridiculous, but the vibe, it's just, it's like a little bit of an adventure town. It's a, also a summer place. Really nothing but good things to say about the welcoming people of Homer. And next is on to Soldatna and Birch Ridge Golf Course. There are no private golf courses in all of Alaska. How about that? Birch Ridge Golf Course. I think everything is just called Golf Course here. There's no golf clubs. So it's kind of nice. It's just Birch Ridge Golf Course. That's what it is. It's a golf course. I'm going to learn a lot about Alaska. Um, what about life? We're at Birch Ridge. Nine holes. Nine holes. Except for this, uh, this uniqueness here. Number nine has two greens to it. So. When you play 18, you have to finish to a different hole. You've got the pavilion, people can watch. Oh, the yeah. Finishing hole. That's where the smack talk comes from. This is where it, yep, they yell at you and they heckle you while you miss your putt. I grew up on in a house on the sixth tee box, fifth, fifth green. Nice. My parents still live there. Typically, we open mid to late April, and we can close anywhere between early and late October, snow related. Cold's nothing. And is that kind of the Alaskan attitude sometimes with golf? Like, yeah, it's cold, but deal with it, because this is golf. Yeah, wear a hat, you know? The best thing about Birch Ridge, besides 
we get the putting greens. Like I said, you wouldn't know it right now, but these things are these things are as good as anything in the lower 48 for three, three and a half months a year. You've got to trust me on that. This winter we had rainfall in the middle of the winter and then it froze. So there was two inches of solid ice on everything. And because we have ice, the greens are dry and the fairways are wet in the first week of May. Where does that happen? Yeah, only in Alaska. Only in Alaska. mountain range going all the way around. This seems to be the 123 yard marker at Birch Ridge. And then over here we've got the ninth green. So a lot happening. What I realized the more time I spent on the Kenai Peninsula was that the biggest difference here is these golf courses aren't built by big developers or run by profit-seeking management companies. These are operated by families, by communities, built to serve the tourists that come in for the season, but also as gathering places for locals to enjoy those magical, endless Alaska summer days. All right, we are at Anchorage Golf Course. We're a little late uh, to meet some of the Anchorage squad. Much more of like a golf course, traditional golf course feel driving in. This feels like the first big full on 18 hole round of the trip. So let's go check it out. <laughs> 